I am doing a review of a custom pull-up that is very, very special to me uh, because she is the donation doll for this year's Puddle event. Now, if you don't, uh, if you don't know what Puddle is, you can go to PuddleStyle.com. I'll put a link in the description. But it is an annual uh, pull-up and doll convention, and it is so, so much fun. It's held in Chicago in June. This is, I think it's on June 9th this year, but again, I'll put the link. And I've gone the last three years, so this will be my fourth year, and every year I've donated a doll. Uh, and this year was a little bit different because it's usually my mom and I, and because she's not participating, I'm donating Maxine here um, on behalf of our Amocha Crush Facebook group. So really, really happy to introduce you to her. She is sort of an what I envision as uh, the Alice Dujardin Mad Hatter if she was purple and green. Uh, and I have named her Max, Max the Mad Hatter, because I just thought that was kind of fun. So I wanted to just give you a little bit of a review on her. I'm really, really excited about her face up. It was done by a Facebook friend of mine and an artist who is just super talented. But let me start, I'm kind of gonna do like head to toe on the stock and then I'll come back to the face up. So this hat is from Kuloft. And I think a lot of doll collectors are familiar with Kuloff's work. They're really well known for these gorgeous flowers. And they do a lot of like antler ears for like deer ears and lamb ears. But they had this little top hat and I thought it was so perfect. Just a beautiful lace uh, covering and their trademark flowers and beads. Really pretty. All right, so her wig, this pretty, pretty purple wig is from Purple Plum. And I was, it's sometimes hard to find these super colorful wigs, but I just thought this was perfect. So it's a little bit frizzy, but curly at the bottom, these fun little braids on the sides. And I think the bangs just give her kind of that little girl look. So really gorgeous color, love this. All right, so now her outfit, I am especially excited about. So a couple of things here. So her outfit is actually a couple of different pieces. She's got a blouse, the suspender skirt and the, um, the little socks. This three piece number came from an Etsy shop called Moto de Algodon. I'm sure I'm not saying that right. Again, I'll put the links because some of these pieces are still available. You'll notice she has a little uh, rabbit chain and that is from Lullaby for Dolls. So in addition to fantastic eye chips, they do these little charms sometimes. And I thought going with sort of this tea party Alice theme um, the little rabbit was perfect. Now the jacket, if you're a Barbie collector, you might have seen the My Fair Lady series. I think it came out in the 90s or something. I had my mom alter this one to fit Pulip because I just thought Mad Hatter needs kind of a long, uh, cool coat and I just thought it was a beautiful color. So I just had her modify this to fit. And again, the stockings. And then she just has these, I wanted to keep with kind of a purple theme, so I gave her purple uh, shoes. And if my mom is watching at home, she does have underwear on. My mom has this thing where she's like, dolls have to wear underwear, so she's decent. She's a lady. Uh, so let me talk about her wonderful face up. So the artist, Amanda, has uh, an Etsy shop, I believe, called Mandy Land. Again, I'll put, I'll put links. But just fantastic. She gave Max here this wonderful kind of magical face. I absolutely love the little white dots by her eyes. And I find the lashes on the bottom to be almost perfect. I mean, it looks, it almost looks like a stock doll to me. But she's got these rosy, rosy cheeks and these beautiful, full pink lips. The eye chips, by the way, are lullaby for dolls. So let me show you her eyelids because you gotta have a surprise or two. I love these hot pink eyelids and they are glittery. So just to kind of give her a little bit of extra sass, she has this little pop of color. So if you are attending Puddle, I am looking forward to meeting you guys. I think this year it sold out really quickly and it's gonna be like a record number of people, but I'm also gonna be doing um, I'll be doing some video there, taking pictures, probably doing some Facebook live stream. So there's much more to come on Puddle. And if you have any questions about uh, custom dolls in general or Maxine here, please let me know. Thanks.